happened to me about 12 hours before I wrote this poem. <laughs> Greetings! Unremarkable white dude, dude whom I cannot tell from the 15 other unremarkable white dudes in this bar right now. <laughs> Mine, that's a very nice blue plaid shirt and marginally groomed beard you're wearing. Can I pour you a tasty adult beverage? I can tell you about our beer selection. How about a nice plate of... Or you could grab my arm. That's happening. Oh, I see. You just want to know about my tattoos. All you had to do was ask. See, the wrist tattoo is my engagement ring, the logo from a poetry community that saved my life more than once, the two poems in my forearms, the treatises against death because of a thanatophobe. Look it up. The arched window panes on my upper arms hold the kind of beings I wish were watching over me but don't actually exist. Represent the kind of dichotomy appropriative motherfuckers like to think of as yin and yang. There's light and darkness, clarity and storm, togetherness and solitude, wakefulness and sleep, male and female, they are false dichotomies all existing in the same skin at once, but just so much in between them. I know. I know you weren't expecting real answers. Almost like you didn't expect me to be a real person. Almost like you didn't ask permission because the answers don't concern you in the first place. <laughs> oh yeah. My back has tattoos too, as you. Now quite easy to remark upon white dude have so deftly pointed out by sneaking up behind me and pulling my tank top down so you can touch them. See the wings, they're cover pieces. Way to reclaim myself after the poor decisions I have made or the poor decisions made by someone I mistakenly trusted with my skin. A way to be beautiful again. They're done off kilter, half broken in memory of the process because it's a shitty way to learn to fly. Ejecting yourself from a nest you spent a lifetime building for the unknown embrace of the weeds below in the hope that this impact might be a more genuine kind of embrace. How ironic it is for you to invest them, try your hand at plucking like tattooed girls must be abandoned property. Why else would there be so many, so much graffiti all over these walls? But I assure you, dude, the lights are on. There's someone living here already, and she is fucking soaring. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Yeah!